Hey guys, so it is December 15th and I am done with the collage journal. I really had my doubts in the last week if I was going to get it done or not, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's been a tough week squeezing in a minimum of six pages a day for the last more than a week, I think, to try to get this done. Yes, at the time of filming this flip, I'm going to do a flip for you, I have all of that video footage, or at least most of it, in the camera or downloaded to the computer. Um, whether or not I bundle it all up and put it as a fast forward on YouTube, at the time of filming this flip, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, if I'm going to just maybe pull clips of it out, I don't know. You guys let me know what you want to see. Um, in any case, I would fast forward most of it and put music to it, but you know, you see me do one page, you see me do them all, haven't you? I mean, I don't know. If you guys want to see it or not, I don't know. Um, and I did learn a lot of things by doing this collage journal about myself and my process. Um, some surprising things, actually. So let's start the flip and we'll talk about it while we're doing that. Now, this journal, as I've said many times and is in the description below, was made for me by my friend Sarah Whitney, um, who is also a uh, uh, a subscriber here of mine here on YouTube. It is a Coptic stitch journal and she used a tutorial by Sea Lemon. Uh, the link should be in the description below. And I decided when she gave it to me to use this as my collage journal, I was going to use my water, what is now my watercolor journal, this one as my collage journal. Um, and when I made this initially, even though I made it with watercolor paper, I intended to use this for collage. And when Sarah gave me this one, I decided this one was going to be collage and this one was going to be watercolor. So anyway, all right. She did cover the cover back and front with um, pattern duct tape, which is really pretty. But some of the edges kind of stick to the page. So I have a piece of deli paper here. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm going to put a piece of deli paper in the back too so that it doesn't stick to the back image. And those pieces of deli paper are just going to live there. Okay. So I started off the year with this journal doing some fairly intricate collage, um, putting quotes on there, um, sometimes from things that just came to me while I was working on the page. And then it occurred to me that I had lots of words in my word box and I could maybe use them and I love these first pages they definitely took a lot more thought and time to put together and I still love this way of doing collage and I still will be doing it but as I went through the year I did definitely change the style of what I was doing not only because I was trying to finish the journal um, because that's just what I was feeling like I should be doing. But I do love some of these pages and I will still be doing collage this way. I will be, I will, see here's where I started putting in words from my word box. Still really finding random pieces from bunches of different images and composing them together to create a whole and I love the way they came out. Most of them are very surprising. Like this one here, I love the way this one came out. First of all, I love the image of the three ladies and uh, the phrase, turn some heads, life is trying a recipe that's adventurous. I mean, I love that. But some of the background images that compose this fabulous piece, these here are from a science magazine and these are actually close-ups of blood cells. <laughs> so, um, you know, you can find the images anywhere. These are um, eyeballs <laughs> from a pamphlet I picked up at my eye doctor when I was getting an eye exam. And then, you know, I would switch back occasionally and do a written quote. I didn't always use people. Sometimes I used artwork from other artists out of other magazines. But I do have a preference for using people, I have to say. A 
these were from a lighting magazine. And then I really started just using quotes. I don't think I don't think about past this point that I did any written oh well, see. I did this one, written words. I was gonna lie to you. I love this page. That might be the last time I wrote any words in here. What I found though as I was creating these pages was that it was more about matching the words or quote with the image I was working with and just not thinking about it so much, um, especially with this page. I didn't really think about it. It just felt right. And going with what felt right and following my instincts and what's turned out is some of these collage pages although the composition is very simple the pictures in combination with the word some of these are really powerful like this one I am pure I am nurtured I am nourished I am perfect combined with that image it's just some of them are really powerful this one can you hear me now And what I found when I was trying to finish this was I was just following my instincts and pulling quotes that felt right with that picture and if necessary adding a background but not really necessarily doing a lot more Then the result made a of course quick composition but one that when you look at it and you read the words and you look at the picture associated with those words that got put together they're very very powerful. I love this one. Discover a fresh perspective. I love that one. I have to wax these. Can you hear that sticking a bit? Sometimes the acrylic paint pens or um, some of the um, gel sticks you saw me use, some of them are actually temper paint sticks. Um, I know somebody's going to ask me about this, so we'll go over that too. I have a bunch of these. These are by Play Color. And they're tempera paint sticks, and there's a couple of different versions. They have this one, which is called Play Color. This one's called Fluo, Play Color Fluo. These are fluorescent, and then they have um, Play Color Metallic. Um, these are all tempera paint sticks. Then I have lots of gel crayons, including Crayola and, of course, Gelatos, and Sparkle gel crayons. And, uh, you know, Alex, I have a thing for gel crayons. <laughs> uh, these are watercolor, watercolor uh, crayons. These are by Target Up and Up, and I think they're like $5 for eight. I don't remember. And I found early on I tried to not do edging on my pages, and I just found that that wasn't working for me. And I think I did um, some kind of border with the gel crayons around every single page. I think for me, this is one of the most powerful pages in here. And this is a really simple page with an image that I had in my pile of stuff that I'd pulled out a quite a while ago and I knew I was going to do something with it at some point and then this little phrase popped out at me out of my stash of words and this is really powerful. I just love this picture. Doesn't that just make you laugh? He's covered in sunflowers dressed in a yellow suit. I love that. This is my daughter's favorite. An interesting, compelling image with a powerful quote. And that's what I discovered towards the end of these was, I love this one. You know, you have this mermaid who's essentially stuck in a tank, you know, and she just, you know, it's like she's saying to you, don't ask. Just don't, <laughs> just don't ask. 
I love that. But, you know, I was just, I was doing more playing and having fun and following my instincts and not trying so hard. And we have sort of what I was calling to my daughter when she and I were discussing this accidental art. So accidentally, I've created some really powerful pages without trying or thinking too hard. And I think for me, that's what this collage book is all about. I love this one too. And then finally at the end, another world is not only possible, she's on her way on a quiet day, I can hear her breathing. I love that. So there is my 2015 collage journal. Will I be doing one for 2016? I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm sure I'll do some collage at some point. I'm not sure I'll do a whole separate journal just for collage. Um, but, you know, one can never tell. I have other things I need to finish up and or get started for 2016 before I can even think about it, to be honest. Um, but this was a lot of fun. And just so you know, in case you've not seen it before, <laughs> yeah, this is my container of, there we go, gel crayon type tools. <laughs> um, it was sort of organized, but then I started doing all these pages and it got really messy. I have um, gel highlighter pens. This is um, Accu Gel Highlighter. The Play Color um, Tempera Crayons. They, you know, they're like a crayon. They're tempera paint, so they don't blend necessarily the same way as the gel crayons do. Sharpie Gel Highlighters, which I love. Alex Gel Crayons. A lot of these are from um, either Target or Amazon. These in the middle are all gelatos, and to be perfectly honest with you, I use all of these other things a lot more than I use the gelatos. Um, nothing wrong with them. They come in some great colors. They're fabulous in their own right. Um, I don't know. I just, I just use these other things. But anyway <laughs> so I guess maybe start collecting some gel crayons because I think you guys will like them <laughs> all right that's it for right now uh, go out and uh, do some collage don't think about it too much grab a compelling image if it needs a background because it's too small for the page grab a background you think is gonna really enhance your image and then go for a quote that um, just speaks to you at that moment. Don't think about it too much and put them together and then do some decorating to tie all the images together and see what the result is. Just remember to play. Um, I think that's the key for me. Just play and have fun and don't overanalyze it. All right, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.